In this problem, we're trying to figure out the size of an image on the retina. So you're looking at something and it has a physical size, but the image size on your retina is going to be different. Now if we, let's look at the data in the problem. So we're, we're thinking about the, the size of a human hair, diameter of a human hair. So that's the size of the object that you're looking at. It's held at arm's length away, 60 centimeters away. And we know the lens to retina distance is two centimeters. So let's take a closer look at the eye. So here's a diagram of the eye. Uh, this is a picture of a tree projected onto the retina. All right, and so you can see there's a size discrepancy. So this is the object in physical space, and this is the image size on the retina. Okay, the lens of the eye is a converging lens, and so it flips the image upside down and projects the image onto the retina over here. All right, so let's take a look at the solution to this problem. All right, so focus on the diagram first, just the picture of what's happening. The dotted line here is the optical axis. Here's the lens of the eye, and here's the retina with the image projected onto it. And then the object is over here. Okay, so the object is a human hair. It has a diameter of 0 0.012 centimeters. So the size here represents the diameter of the human hair, and that's the um, object height, H H O. What we'd like to know is the image height, H I. So that's what we're trying to figure out. We want to know what H I is. So f fast forward a little bit. Ultimately, we want to use the magnification equation because that's the one equation that we have that involves the image height. And we already know the object height. So what we need to figure out is what's the object distance and what is the image distance. If we know those two values, we can plug in and find the image height. All right. So how do we get there? How do we fast forward to get there? Well, the object distance is the distance from the optical element to the object. So that's 60 centimeters. So that's what goes right here, 60 centimeters. So that's the object distance, the distance from the optical element to the object that you're looking at. The image distance is from the optical element to where the image is projected. And we're told in the problem the lens to retina distance is 2 centimeters. So this distance here is 2 centimeters. We put in 2 right here. Uh, it's a positive distance because the object, uh, sorry, the image is on the opposite side from the object. So this goes recorded as a positive distance. In the magnification formula, there's a negative sign here. So we're going to end up with a negative magnification, indicating that the image is flipped upside down. Okay. Last thing is the object height, which we've already said is 0.012. So we plug in all these numbers and we get an answer of 0 .0, or negative 0 0.0004 centimeters. If you converted all this to scientific notation, it would work out to be 4 times 10 to the minus 6 meters, which is 4 microns. So it's a negative 4 micron.